Finally, we will see the last test type, which is change related testing. First, we will understand what is change related testing. When changes are made to a system, either to correct a defect or because of new or changing functionality, testing should be done to confirm that the changes have corrected the defect or implemented the functionality correctly and have not caused any unforeseen adverse consequences. Now, in simple terms, understand how changes are introduced in software. There are two ways we can introduce changes to the software. First is due to defects found in the software or if there is a new requirement for the next release. Change-related testing is of two types, confirmation testing and regression testing. First, I will explain the concept of confirmation testing and regression testing, and then we will see the technical definition of it. Let's first understand confirmation testing. Suppose you have a software with version 1.0, and while testing the software test case, one was executed and we found a defect on it. Now, this software will be sent to the developer so that the developer can fix it. Once the defect is fixed, a new version of the software is ready, which is referred to here as software version 2.0, where the defect is fixed. The important point here is we must run the test case once again to confirm the defect is fixed. This is why this change is called confirmation testing because we used the same test type to confirm if the defect found is fixed or not. Now let's see the technical definition of confirmation testing. After a defect is fixed, the software may be tested with all test cases that failed due to the defect, which should be re-executed on the new software version. The software may also be tested with new tests. Re-execute the test which may find defect. Now we will understand regression testing. Suppose there is software with three software components. Component 1, Component 2, and component 3. To test component 1, test case 1 is used. To test component 2, test case 2 is used. And to test component 3, test case 3 is used. Now consider if you get the new requirement and due to that component 2 is changed. In that case, it is very obvious that we have to test component 2 because it has changed. But now the question is, is executing test case 2 enough? And the answer to that is no, because the change component 2 can impact component 1 or component 3 since they are connected with each other. Therefore, along with test case 2, we have to run test case 1 and test case 3. Now let's see the technical definition of regression testing. It is possible that a change made in one part of the code, whether a fix or another type of change, may accidentally affect the behavior of other parts of the code. Changes may include changes to the environment, new version of an operating system, database management system, the next question is, what is the purpose of confirmation testing and regression testing? The purpose of a confirmation test is to confirm whether the original defect has been successfully fixed. The purpose of regression testing involves running tests to detect unintended side effects. Similar to another test type, we must know where we perform change-related testing. Change-related testing is performed at all test levels. The last point of this topic is where change-related testing is effective. It is effective at iterative and incremental development lifecycle 
for an agile project. With this, the topic ends. Thank you.